I'll remember his hands. His nails are meticulously filed in the home of square. Not a hangnail or a jagged edge to be found. Evidently, his hands were the recipients of great care and attention. His own, or perhaps someone who loved him. The skin on his hands is pale, smooth, delicate. It conveys a life cut short. His hair is just beginning to grow. I wonder about his hands. I think about the life they helped him out. Had they once worn a wedding band? Had they ever held a child of his own? Did he more often use them to express love or anger? What did he create with his hands? What was his life's work? And who held his hands as he took his final breaths? Who was left behind? Still here, still remembering his hands. Hands can symbolize generosity, and he has given the ultimate final gift, the donation of his body, so that we can learn, so that we can better treat, so that we can minimize suffering in others. His body tells the story of his disease, of his suffering, and his death. But his hands hint at the story of his life. In medicine, we strive to not separate the person from the illness, the soul from the body. We learn to treat and to care for both, to learn the patient's story. His hands tell me there's a story, and it is rich. I've learned much from him this past year. I better understand the intricacies of the human body. I will be a more informed clinician, but I will also remember his hands.